Hi, I'm Christine Darbel, and I am the FIA club correspondent for the Canadian Automobile Association. And I'm here in Ottawa, Canada's capital, to kick off the very first CAA EV winter test. This test was actually inspired by another club in the FIA world, which is the Norwegian Automobile Federation. And we're taking charge here in Canada. We'll be testing electric vehicles, which represents roughly three quarters of the Canadian EV sales. We're gonna be driving them from Ottawa all the way to Mont Tremblant in a very Canadian winter. And we have a perfect Canadian winter. It's minus 10 right now, it's snowing, it's perfect. So let's hit the road. We're doing an EV test in the winter in real conditions here in Canada to show everyone uh, just how far EVs can go before uh, they run out of charge. And we're also going to check how long it takes to charge them. And we think this is really important because we live here. Why is this really important for Canadians? Well, because we live in such a winter country, um, the winter charging ability of EVs matters a lot. And a lot of people think they're not very good. Uh, we think they're a little bit better uh, than people will imagine. And so we want to show that to people. At the same time, we also think that the figures that the government uses when they talk about how far an EV can go are a little bit ac inaccurate as well. They're basically done in the United States. They don't take into account our winter conditions. And we want to make sure all Canadians can have a real uh, view of what the actual range of an EV is and all kinds of different EVs. We're sitting here in a beautiful big pickup truck. We've got small sedans. We've got everything in between just to show people the range of vehicles that exist and how well they can do in the winter. Everything went great until we hit about 6% and then it kind of started to slow down and it kept slowing down until we got all the way to zero. I expected to, once you got to zero range, that you were dead in the water. That was not the case. I was very surprised to see that we had an extra 15 kilometers just like you would with a gas-powered ice engine. We had a lot of fun. It was an overall great experience. Well, and that's a wrap, folks, on CIA's first EV winter test. We drove over 250 kilometers and we put these electric vehicles through the ultimate Canadian winter stress test. And along the way, we learned so much and we are so excited to share the results with you. Yeah.